I'm going to ask you kind of a spoilery question now. Are we going to be trusting any of the clones that you bring to the table? Because so far, even Mark, who showed that he, he's capable of doing some good things by the end of the season, was kind of ambiguous throughout. So, are we going to like any of your clones? I guess is the question. Well, I hope so. Um, or will we like to hate them? Even better. Um, I still can't over that you knew that Mark was going to be officially find out then? <laughs> Probably, like, no, like a week or two before we started filming in finale. Oh my god. Wow. If you flip a table, you'll get over it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can start with Mark. I mean, I guess I'm thankful that I didn't know, because Mark started off um, in the diner as a completely different guy of who he ended up yeah. um, throughout the season. But I wasn't playing the end that he was a clone, so the fact that I found out he was a clone at the end of the season introduced a whole new element that I got to explore this year, which was uh, really fun. Mm. And then getting to learn and interact with myself and, and the caster boys, learn so much more about it. And yeah, he's still going to be ambiguous the entire season through. Um, I guess Rudy would be the next one who's, who's getting sort of most of the, of the attention. Uh, with the scar and the mohawk. Um, man, he's fun. Uh, Rudy! Rudy! He's the Rudy. Okay. <laughs> uh, he, he's, a, he's a real outlet for uh, an extroverted person that I am not. And then I got a lot of. Uh, I don't know. I got to explore a side of myself that, that, that uh, isn't normally me. So. Um, but at the same time, it's always important for me to find that other side and to uh, find uh, the sensitivity and the craziness. And, and thankfully, without spoiling too much, there is a character um, that I get to interact with in this season that, that brings out the boy in him. Yes, Tat, if and when I ever had a question, I would go to her and she would, you know, give encouragement or say, no, try it this way or, or Something like that, yeah. Does season three start with an Ari Millen dance party? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to see me dance. Uh, and then Miller, uh, the military uh, man. Um, I don't know. It, it, they're all sort of different parts of my personality, I guess. And so I got to play this. Uh, um, we started with, we started, the, the challenge was, because these guys are all brothers, they're all self-aware. Um, finding the small little differences within the familiarity. Um, and so we started with him having a, a, an amputee, having a, a fake leg, because he, he lost it in, in, a, in you know, a mission. Uh, so from there, he kind of got sent home with almost like a house cat now. He can't, because he's, um, well, normally you get in the military, you get hurt. You go back home. Well, they have no home. Their home is the military. So he, he, he goes back to base and now his, he doesn't want pity and it's all about being the best soldier he can be. So, uh, takes no pity, takes no, oh, I can't say what I want to say. Uh, John's eyeing you down. <laughs> we haven't, we haven't spoiled any. Cut out, too much spoiling? <laughs> and then, uh, and then, uh, so he's he's basically the straight. This he's the best soldier uh, of the boys. And then uh, we got Seth, who was uh, I don't know. Yeah. Don't say anymore. Yeah. Don't say anymore. <laughs> every every answer we're giving, we're like giving the slowest sentences because inside our minds, we're all like, okay, can't say this, can't say this, can't say this. <laughs> Spoiler, nope, can't say that. We're on eggshells up here because it's so bloody exciting. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Just basically, you know. It's going to air April 18th. And everyone's going to <laughs> okay. Newsflash. We want to keep you as much in the dark as possible, but get you really excited to watch it.